All right, I figured it was about time that I make another collection video. I've added a lot to my collection over the past year, and a lot of people have asked about it, and my old collection video being as out of date as it is, I figured this is as good a time as any. So I'm gonna go through and show you different things in my collection in more details than I typically do in these videos. All right, so this is part of what you see on stream, my NES collection. This is all NES only. Oh, obviously this stuff up here is not. This is my Panasonic Q. Uh, my Panasonic Q, I bought from another speedrunner. Uh, it is a relatively rare Japanese exclusive GameCube with a built-in DVD player. Really dope. This one works. It's not modded. Um, I'd like to get it region modded someday so I can use it for uh, American games, but it is, it's amazing. It's really cool. Um, sorry, I got Skyrim on just for... <laughs> I just have that on for background noise. Uh, my Zelda Game & Watch and my Oil Panic Game & Watch, my Power Glove. Some Perlers. All the Perlers, I made them myself. There's a Zelda 2, a Mega Man. They want to back the store, folks. Oh, excuse me one second. Sorry, those guys just didn't know how to stop talking. I had to, turn, I had to pause that. Um, but yeah, so I've got some Perlers going on. Some of the uh, Breath of the Wild release date posters. They were exclusive posters. My Majora's Mask. This is one of the coolest things, man. I got it from a guy on Etsy, and I just love it. It's the coolest background piece for the stream. And then uh, some more perlers and some assorted trinkets. My Virtual Boy, it's functional. Rob is functional. My uh, AV modded Famicom and my functional FDS. Some Amiibos and some figures. Uh, this is the... Hyrule Warriors chest that came in the Treasure Box Edition. Uh, my Wind Waker Wii U gamepad. Complete Unbox Zelda 2. Uh, Master Sword from the Master Edition of Breath of the Wild. Um, original and uh, genuine Action 52. And a reproduction NWC cart, uh, which I got for the Trials, that has all the different functions of the real cart, but it's a repro. And it looks real, so I'm cool with it. Um, tips and Tactics, Zelda 1 Player's Guide from the 80s, which is pretty neat. And some more Perlers. That is my uh, HDMI modded NES, which I retired. I uh, no longer use it, but uh, it's cool to have, and if I ever decide to do any sort of gaming on a HDTV, it'd be nice to have, so I'm holding on to it for now. My Zelda Player's Guide collection, um, with some other assorted magazines, including... I'm not going to dig it out, but this is my original uh, Nintendo Power very first issue that I had as a kid. And I still have it, and it's got all this writing in it from when I was a child. Um, just little stuff I wrote in there, notes and like different drawings and stuff like that. I kind of ruined it, but I was a kid, you know? So it's kind of co uh, it's kind of cool to uh, still have it and be able to look at it and have those memories, but yeah. Uh, that is one of the only sealed items in my entire collection. Uh, I don't keep sealed items. I only keep that one sealed because I bought it specifically to have it sealed. Everything else I've opened up and can use. My Genesis collection, this is all just complete in box Genesis. Uh, there's a few games I have that are loose. And then my Master System collection, same. It's all complete in box. My Sega CD collection. Um, a couple rare ones in there. There's also some common ones, but... You know, there's one that kind of stands out a bit there. And then Sega Saturn. And uh, then we'll go back to the NES shelf. And I'll just go through the games shelf by shelf. There are a couple repros, but 99% of my collection is legit. I'll, I'll tell you when I get to a repro. Uh, this is Bible Adventures and Bible Buffet. Um. See where that is City Connection, which I bought for the Big 20. As is that fucking game. Fuck that game. What? That Die Hard is the one I bought for the AVGN Trials. It's been through some hell, but it is a legit card. I'm looking. There is a couple of repros in here, I know it for sure. That, there we go. There's two. Final Fantasy 2 II and 3. English translated. Those are repros. 
Let's see what else we got. Oh, Earthbound is a repro, of course. That is Earthbound Beginnings. Um, let me keep going. Indiana Jones, that's the legit one. I bought both versions. One of them is the Ubisoft. I think this is the Ubisoft version, right? Yeah. This is the rare one. It's like a hundred bucks. Um, keep on going. Legit Jetsons. I bought that for the trials. Or, excuse me, for the Big 20. I know I'm coming up to one now. Legit Metal Storm. All six Mega Mans. This is, uh... Master Chew and the Drunkard Hue. And then, here's a couple repros right here. Mr. Gimmick with the expanded audio and Little Samson. Little Samson is a repro. Um, I love Little Samson, but I'm not about to pay $1,000 for a cart that I'm not going to play very often. And just didn't feel like buying the real one. So that is a uh, power pack. Legit Panic Restaurant. This is the same copy that I used at... Uh, GDQ. Let's see. Legit Princess Tomato. I'm trying to see. Rad Rate. No. RC Pro Am 2. That's a rare one. Um, this is. Secret Scout. Cool game. Not really. It's a shitty game, but you know, whatever. <laughs> um, this is. Tag and Dragon. Interesting game. That'll be in the trials. And this is Sunday Fun Day, also for the trials. What is this? Oh, Strider. I was like, what is that? I didn't even tell what that was. This Euphoria is also a repro. This is uh, English translated. Um, well, it's the, uh, the PAL version, but it's been modified to run MTSC speeds. So... It runs the same speed as uh, Hebereki or whatever it's called. I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is the infamous Wally Bear cart that survived when I threw it. Legit Wayne's World. And then uh, a couple 32X games. I just have uh, Star Wars, Doom, and then this is my Sonic and Knuckles, I believe. Yes. So, Super Nintendo games. These are going to be a little, little tougher. I gotta dig one of these out. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, I had to dig one of those out, so I just dug out Earthworm Jim. That way I can get my hand in here. This shelf's a little tight, but we've got Battle Cars, Dracula, Brunswick. I'm trying to see if there's anything good. I know I have a few good ones. Chrono Trigger, that's a legit one. Um, I know I've got some rare ones in here. TK1, 2, and 3. Doom. Earthbound. Okay, that's a legit copy, and I have the box for this copy and the player's guide up here, which I figured this is a good time to show it. It's got the stickers inside of it, too. That is actually the box from my childhood. Um, and Chrono Trigger as well. Not not the Chrono Trigger box, but that Earthbound box, uh, the copy I had as a kid, uh, I sold to GameStop a long time ago, and I'll just go through these games as I tell you the story um and i regretted it when i found out how expensive it was but when my dad moved oh repro that's a repro english translation um when i moved when my dad moved uh he found the box and asked if i wanted it i was like heck yeah and um so now oh this is a repro that's for the avgn trials Okay, so that, that should at least give us the tough shelf. That's the hard shelf to dig games out of. The rest of these are pretty easy. Okay, that's uh, Killer Instinct. Kirby. Kirby's Dream Land 3. That's a rare one. Going through them all. Now, there's a repro of BS Zelda. Um, really cool game. Really awesome, awesome game. And... Uh, then this should be Asian Stone Tablets, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. Both repros, both fully functional. Really cool games. Take the Enforcers, Slime King, Lock-On. I've never even played that. I found that at Madden. Mario's Missing, that's for the Trials. Mario Paints, Mega Man 7, another rare game. And then this should be Mega Man X. Oops, I skipped one. Mortal Kombat, Power Rangers... 
Wait, that's out of order. Oh no, it's not, it's Mighty Morphin, okay. I was like, wait, what? Mortal Kombat 2 and 3. NBA Jam, some racing game. Out of this world, that's a cool game. I just bought another world for the Switch. I'm pretty excited for that. That's a fun game. Really fun game. Fuck Ren and Sippy. What is that? Shaq Fu? No, that's Secret of Evermore. I was like, wait, is that Shaq Fu? I know Shaq Fu's coming up. Secret of Mana. And that's a repro English translation of Secret of Mana 2. Shadowrun. Shaq Fu! Thanks to Fappy for that one. SimCity. Sonic Blast Man, just the best name ever. Spawn, this should be, yeah, Spider Man. Uh, the other Spider-Man game, Star Fox, Stunt Race, Back to the Future, that's Super Back to the Future 2, that's a repro, that's also for the trials, Super Battleship, because of course, Super Black Bass, shouts out to Dan H, Super Castlevania 4, Super HQ, I don't think I have Castlevania X, I just realized that I need to get Castlevania X, my collection is tainted! Super Mario All-Stars, Mario Kart, Mario RPG, Mario World, Mario World 2, Metroid, R-Type, Star Wars, Star Wars 2 and 3, right? Yeah. Uh, Super Street Fighter, Super Strike Eagle, what other Supers? We got, oh, Terminator, that's the end of the Supers. Turtles in Time, Mortal Kombat 3, Golf, some flying game. Wizard of Oz. Oh god, I fear that game. Wolverine. Yoshi Safari. Oh, Wonder Project J2. J. Okay, so I have this as an English translation. This is a cool game. Uh, this game was never released in America. This is a uh, Japanese exclusive for the Super Famicom, and I got an English translated version. A uh, really fun game. Its sequel's even better. And then... Zombies ate my neighbors because of course. And now we get down to N64. Now N64 uh, was the console that I first started collecting for. Sorry for the wobbly camera. I'm trying to sit comfortably within reach of the shelf. So anyways, um, when I started collecting, I started collecting for N64. So I've got some rarer games um, that I probably wouldn't have owned if it weren't for the fact that I started collecting back in like 2008. But these ones are pretty common. There's a lot of racing games on the N64. Banjo-Kazooie. Banjo-Tooie. I'll get to some rare ones here in a second. Pretty sure, anyways. All those are pretty... There we go. Here's one. Um, super, super... Actually, no, I found this one at a swap meet, if I remember correctly. Um, I think this is also... Yeah, another rare one that I got a long time ago. Okay. Boom! So, I found this one a long time ago for very, very cheap. And I was like, uh, why not, you know? And uh, it sucks. It's overrated. Boom. Label's in kind of rough shape, but you know. Boom, 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 and boom. Okay, so that's that shelf. Uh, oh, yeah. Those alien bastards are shooting up my ride. I gotta have the uh, obligatory Elmo games. I don't know where the hell I got those. I saw a copy of F1 World Grand Prix at a secondhand store for $50 and I nearly laughed. Oh, another one that I got a long time ago for super cheap. I also, I think I showed it already, but I had the, uh, um, the Super Nintendo version as well. Some of these games are just games that I probably wouldn't own today if it weren't for how uh, cheap they were back in the day. So like I said, I do have some, some pretty common ones. Oops, it's a little tight here. Let me take one of these out. Okay, Mario Kart. Mario Party. I think this is two and three. Yeah. Ooh, not for resale. I didn't even know I had that. Mario Tennis. Mega Man, Micro Machines, Mischief Makers, good game, underrated game, Mission Impossible, Sub-Zero, fuck that game, Namco, a bunch of sports games that, again, I probably would have never had, except for I found them, oh, there, there's a kind of rare one, by Atlas, uh, 
pretty cool game actually um it's i don't know i'm not a huge fan of uh strategy games but that one's kind of fun But, yeah, I mean, it's not something that the average person's going to get into. You have to be a fan of it. I, when I got that game, I was kind of into StarCraft a little more, and that game reminded me of StarCraft, so, you know. Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil 2 is cool. They have all of the, the cutscenes and music and voice acting from the, the CD version of the game on a cartridge, which, back in the day, that was a pretty impressive thing. Boom! Snowboard Kids 2. Chef Love Shack. What do we got? Silicon Valley. That's a fun game. StarCraft 64. That's a rare one. Um, really awesome. Really, really fun. It's not as fun as the computer version, but pretty good for an N64 version. It's still a fun game. Oop, what is this one? Oh, it was sticking a little bit. This game is dumb. Okay, so I got this game for super, super fucking cheap. Fuck this game. It is way overpriced. It's stupid, it's a shitty bowling game, fuck that game. And to be honest, if I hadn't already owned it, I probably never would. It's fucking stupid overpriced. Ooh, that's stuck. That's Tony Hawk, whatever, who cares. Alright, down here we've got Top Gear. Oh, that's why the fucking shelf thing is in the way. Turok, 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 Turok! Fun little snowboarding game. I had to itch my face real quick. Super golf game, Wave Race, Wayne Gretzky, W. All oh, these are all the wrestling games, aren't they? Oh no, they're not. That's just WCW NWO. So what is this? Huh? Yeah, these are all the wrestling games. Good games, by the way. The wrestling games on NCC. Oh, here we go. Hold on, let me get to the rest of these stupid wrestling games. Whoa, never mind, never mind. Okay. So this is an English ver translated version of uh, Wonder Project J2. It's a repro. And I'm telling you right now, this game is so much fun. If you can find an English version of it, um, the story is really good. Um, it's a very obscure Japanese game. Worms are good. That's actually really fun. I love that game. Worms is awesome. WWF, WWF, and Yoshi Story. So that's N64. Now we got down here in the dark. I wish I could turn my flash on mid-video, but anyways. Super Game Boy 2. Mario no Photopi. That's actually pretty rare. Uh, N64 cart that takes compact flash. My two Atari Jaguar games, Cybermorph and Iron Soldier. Both of them are garbage. And then since it's really dark, you probably can't even see it on the video. Those are my loose Genesis carts I've got. I'll just read them off. They're nothing special. Aladdin, Battletoads, and Double Dragon. Uh, Bernstein Bears, Clay Fighter, Earthworm Jim, Echo the Dolphin, Jurassic Park Rampage Edition, Mortal Kombat 3, Sonic 1, and Sonic 2, and then uh, my US Super Game Boy and my Super Nintendo Game Genie. So, that is the, uh, the Tower of Power. This is the backdrop for my stream, Focus. And yeah, really cool stuff there, man. So then we come over here. This is kind of on camera sometimes. This is the Lightspan Adventures CD pack for the PlayStation. There's like 50 games in there. They're all educational games. They're all garbage. But that's for the AVGN trials. My Fallout 3 bobblehead and my bio sensor for the N64, which I need to try out sometime on stream. That's really cool. It uh, reads your heart rate and then changes games, specifically Tetris on the N64. Uh... Xbox 360, nothing rare, nothing special, just good, good selection of games. Xbox, again, nothing special. Steel Battalion and Shenmue are probably the rarest ones. And then uh, down here, Famicom carts. Um, I do have some rare ones. I have, uh, let's see, where is it? It's in here somewhere. There's Akumaju Densetsu 3. Focus. Let me see if I can't get more light. There, that helps a little bit. That's a fun game. Biomiracle Bio, eh, Bio Bouquet Opa. A really fun baby game. Shouts out to Eon. Um, what else? I got the Zelda 1 US or Japanese cart. 
Uh, Kira Kira Night Star DX. This is a, re a new game for the Famicom only. It's a interesting game. It's a music-based Famicom game. Um, only released in, in Japan, and it's like two years old. I think it came out in 2016. Um, kind of a cool game. Uh, I also have... Uh, ooh, Lagrange Point. Really fun. I have a repro gimmick. This is a repro. And it sucks. My uh, NES card's better than that one. That one doesn't have the expansion audio implemented correctly. Um, anything else in there that's really rare? I think it's all common titles for the most part. Yeah. Japanese N64. We've got Tetris 64. Super Mario. That's the Rumble version. Uh, Sin and Punishment. Hey, you Pikachu. Mario Kart. Ocarina of Time. Some Hamster Game. F-Zero X. Densha That Goes 64. Dance Dance Revolution. Bomberman 64. Bangai O. Oh, that's a rare cart. Uh, I got that at a swap meet. And the guy had no idea what he had. Animal Forest. Which is Animal Crossing. And then Super Famicom. I don't think I have anything rare specifically. I have the uh, Link to the Past 1.0 cart. Um, I think that's Yoshi's Island. Mario World. Sorry, my camera's so out of focus. I'm trying to get it to focus. There it goes. That's uh, Mario All-Stars. Mario Kart. It's tight. I need to take a game out. Some baseball game. Star Fox 2. That is a repro, but it does have the FX chip in it. Uh, it is, to my knowledge, the same ROM that's on the, the Classic, I think. It might be different, but it it sucks. It sucks just as much on there. That's uh, Ghost Sweeper Mukami, I think is how you say it. Uh, it's a interesting platforming game. I uh, I don't remember why I got it, but it's somewhat uncommon. Dragon Ball Hyper Dimension, Donkey Kong Country, some weird fighting game, and some other weird game. I have... I collect some random games sometimes. I just randomly, random, randomly, random, 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 random. Uh, I just get. All right. So, complete a box Super Famicom and Famicom. Some Amiibos and trinkets that I just keep. Uh, that is an original 1988 Zelda 1 figurine. I have the box for it too, but like I said, I don't keep the pretty things sealed. NES Super NES Classics, Fallout 4, Pit Boy. My Switch collection. Currently, the only game missing is Skyrim because it's playing. Um, for the most part, it's status quo. I do have a few of the limited run games. I've been collecting the limited run and super rare game sets. So, English variation, I am Satsuna. Uh, repro English variation of Okami HD. But the carts themselves are the Japanese carts. And they play in English on uh, the U.S. version. So, on the U.S. Switch, because it's region free. And then, PS2. Nothing particularly rare. Um, I think the rarest PS2 game I have is probably Dirge's... No, not even. That's not even that rare. I'm trying to think. Are there any rare PS2 games I have? There are some rare PS2 games, but I don't think I have any rare ones. I'd have to look. I usually just get PS2 games from, like, swap meets and, uh, from, uh, thrift stores. So nothing particularly rare, nor in, like, crazy good condition. Catherine's a cool game. That's kind of rare. And then PS3. Sorry for the dust. Ah! They caught me on camera. So, just a fun selection of games. Nothing particularly rare for the PlayStation. And then down here in this nook is my PS4. And the reason I keep it down there is because I ran out of room. And also, these are my modern day consoles. Uh, LG 4K TV. Focus. Thank you. And then down there you see a uh, Nintendo Switch. Behind that's my PS3, my Xbox 360, PS4, and Wii U. All hooked up and ready to go to that HDMI switcher, which is pretty cool. And then uh, I'll show you this in a minute. But first, we have more games. Yay! And I and I usually skim through this. I'm going to try not to because a lot of people always ask what games I have. And these kind of videos are fun. <laughs> Little Red Hood Complete in Box. This is uh, for the ABGN Trials. This is an interesting 
thing, and by interesting, I mean really bad. It's a weird cart. It's designed to take a official NES cart through this port, and that allows for um, this game to be booted without a lockup chip, lockout chip, excuse me. Just an interesting thing. It looks like a VHS cassette case. It's freaking huge and ugly, but it's rare. So I keep it on my shelf. And then Undertale for PS4. GameCube. Um, a few uncommon. Nothing super rare. I'd say the Zelda Collector's Editions are rare-ish. Um, I think BMX XXX is going to be rare someday because they only printed like 100,000 copies of it and it didn't sell well. And it's got boobies. Everyone loves boobies. Um, I think I had Eternal Darkness, didn't I? Yeah, that's kind of uncommon. Um, that's there's not much uncommon stuff for the GameCube that I own, unfortunately. Um, Smash is kind of uncommon. It's not really uncommon. It's just hard to find. Does that make sense? Uh, Game Boy Player and Project Number 03 for the Japanese GameCube. My only Japanese GameCube game. Wii U. Um, Bayonetta is probably the only rare one I have. Um, although I am going to be getting the um, the limited run games Wii U game. I think they're releasing... Um, oh, what the heck is it? Did they announce it yet? I don't remember if they announced it yet. But they're releasing a Wii U game. And it's 2018. It's just freaking weird. But... Uh, other than that, Ashante is kind of rare-ish. Not really. Not really, honestly. Nothing really rare there. Uh, repros of Penitellar's Smoke and Mirrors for the Trials. Police Knots repros. Night Trap. Rayman in the big... Rayman, excuse me, in the big box. And a couple other big box games. Let me scroll over here. I'll go to the Game Boys in a minute. This is my PS1. I have a few uncommon titles. Castlevania Symphony of the Night, Chrono Cross, the Crash Bandicoots are kind of cool. Um, this is not the rare versions of these games. They, they came out in America and they were co uncommon. Um, I have the more common versions. Final Fantasy Collection. This is the variant of Final Fantasy VII with the misprint on the back. Where is it? There's a misprint somewhere on the back. Where is it? Oh, right there. Masterpiece. See it? And that's not as uncommon as it seems, but it's the more uncommon version, I guess. What else do I have that's uncommon or rare? Um, Mist is relatively uncommon. Um, this is uh, not a common, not, not as common a game as you would think. This is somewhat uncommon. Um, Parappa Rappa, uncommon, cool game, really fun game. I play that every New Year's. Resident Evil small box version, not the director's cut. It's kind of uncommon. And then that's really about it. Nothing crazy rare there. But then we get down to Turbo Graphics. I have some uncommon stuff here. Um, this is a repro. Obviously, because it's in English. And then this is Darkwing Duck. Super uncommon. Sucks. It's a shitty game. Dragon's Egg. Shouts out to my man Snibbers. Snibber me Kimbers. Who, who speed ran this game. This is a fun game. I've always wanted to check out. And then um, this is the 3-in-1 disc that came with the TurboGrafx CD. And it has uh, a bunch of... Actually, it's a 4-in-1, technically. It has... Uh, Bomberman is a secret game, and then um, Bonk's Revenge and Bonk's Adventure, I believe? Yeah, that's what it is. I just looked. Lords of Thunder. That same Ghost Sweeper game. I don't know why I have two of those. Maybe just because she's... Damn, girl, look at those legs, though. Um, Hellfire. This game's awesome. Awesome, 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 and it's kind of raunchy, too. But it's a good shooter. Really good shooter. Yeah. Oh, Super Raiden. This is a fun shooter, too. Um, really, really fun shooter for the Turbo Graphics or the uh, PC Engine. Really fun. And then uh, my Yeast Collection. Yeast 4 is a Bree Pro, obviously. I don't care. I don't even know if it... Oh, I better not show that. There's boobies. 
Um, you can pause it if you want to see them. There are, uh... I don't know if there are English versions of that. I think that's only repro, but these are legit discs. I bought these for very expensive prices I probably shouldn't have paid for. Um, fun games, though. Really fun games. And really uncommon games for the, uh... TurboGrafx CD. And then we got Dreamcast. Nothing crazy there. Shenmue. Repros of Shenmue 2 with the English translation. And that's really about it. Other than that, it's pretty common stuff. 64 disc drive. Here we go. Uh, Doshin the Giant with the slip disc, the slip case. And then uh, every game except for Japan Pro Golf Tour 64 and uh, Doshin 2. This is all the, this is the whole collection other than those two games. And these discs are pretty cool if you've never seen one. I'll take the manual out and this is a Nintendo 64 game. Pretty neat stuff. If you've never seen that before. Then I think this is Mario Artist Communication. No, that's, wait, is it? I have all four of them, whatever. I don't know which one's which, but there's paint, communication, sound, and talent, I believe. And then this is the Ranet disc, and this is SimCity. There's my Famicom disc system games, and I don't have anything crazy rare. I've got Zelda 1 and 2, um, 3D Hot Rally, Castlevania 1 and 2, Metroid Kid Icarus, um, the general patent game that says fuck, that the AVGM was like tripping about, Versic Side Bike, Mario 1 and 2, Doki Doki Panic, um, and then a bunch of random games. Atari 2600, cool stuff. Intellivision, oh, I'm sorry, Intellivision. <laughs> Atari 2600, I'm sorry about that. Uh, nothing rare. Um, nothing, uh, like, crazy rare. And then CDI. And, yeah. Oh, wait, what are these? I don't even know what these are. Are these demo discs or something? Oh, those are repros for the Sega Saturn. I haven't tried these games out yet. I forgot about. I forgot I had those. And you know, not the uh, the usual riffraff for the CDI. And then where is it? The other Zelda game. And then there it is. So yeah, fun stuff. A couple Sega Saturn import games. Um, what is this one? I don't remember what this is. Oh, Link of Liver Story. It's supposed to be a really fun game. And then this is. Burning Rangers, which I was going to get the English version, but I was like, screw that, because the English version is like $400, so. Here's some Game Boy stuff. Um, all of my Game Boys, I have them reorganized as I did as a kid. This is the way I had my Game Boy Color as a kid with the same games I had with a couple other ones that I, I have in my collection for randomly, but like... Yo, what is that? Is that an AVGN trial game? It could be. Just random games that I had as a kid. Fun stuff. Nothing crazy. And then... Boom! This is uh, one of my original items still remaining in my collection. Just a Game Boy. The Play It Loud one with the... Uh, Random stuff and a link cable in there. So yeah, cool stuff. I've got another Game Boy. I think I'll pass on showing you that one, but I lied. This is my original Game Boy case when I was a kid. I got this for like my seventh birthday. And uh, you'll see why I was kind of neglecting to show this on stream on videos that it hasn't aged very well. I don't know if you can see that, but it's leaving little stuff all over my games. But this is... Yeah, look at that. Oh, look at that. It's just like rubber or something. It comes off. If I want to play any of this stuff, I have to clean it. But... Just some random Game Boy games. It's kind of a shame. I don't really want to trash this case. Because it's, you know, memories. But... Yeah. Considering that it's from my childhood, I'll probably leave it. I probably won't trash it. Um, I mean, I'm never going to use the original Game Boy again with all the different options I have, but... Denshi to Go controller, Skyward Sword statue, a couple of the Hyrule Warriors books from the Treasure Box versions, including the scarf that came with it, Explorer's edition of Breath of the Wild, Wiimote version of Skyward Sword, and a 
Zelda lenticular that somehow got crooked. Fix that real quick. That thing is cool. You can't really see it on camera, but it's like 3D. It's awesome. A couple random things. My uh, special edition, or limited edition of Breath of the Wild. That is a European release. And then uh, a couple other things. And then my N64 Dance Dance Revolution dance pad. Pretty cool. Hard to find. Not super expensive, but Majora's Mask 3DS. New three, Nintendo 3DS. Steel Battalion Boost. That thing is expensive and cool. Did I mention expensive? Yeah. And uh, my original fat Nintendo DS. And then, let me pull this out. This is one of my favorite things in my collection. It's awesome. This is my Game Boy Advance collection. That's my Zelda 3DS, but that's not why I'm here. That's, that thing sucks. Oh, baby. My backlit modded with a super 101 screen beast. I love this fucking thing. This thing is sex. I love this Game Boy. Custom grape shell. This is my baby. And then for people like, you shouldn't mod those. Well, that's why I have an OG one too. This is not the one from my childhood, but it is the same model, same color. And then nothing special for games. I don't have anything rare, just a bunch of stuff. Game Gear, this is also pretty cool. This was sent to me by Keith, not Keith. Really awesome, awesome, awesome person. This is my VGA and RGB modded game gear with a VGA RGB out and a backlit modern LCD screen. This thing is sex. This thing is sex, y'all. And a bunch of games. If I can open it back up with one hand, one hand. A bunch of games. A uh, Master System Converter and a bunch of really cool games. He also sent me Lunar, which is awesome. If I could just speak Japanese, I'd play it. But yeah, a bunch of really cool stuff. The pedals for my uh, Steel Battalion. Here's my e-reader and my very limited e-reader set. I don't have a lot of e-reader cards. I have one game. I think it's Donkey Kong Jr. and that's it. Virtual Boy Games. I found this for two dollars at a swap me, baby. And then I have Mario's Tennis, Mario Clash, Virtual Boy Wario Land, and Telero Boxer, and that's it. I don't have a lot of Virtual Boy games. 3DO games. Ooh. Ooh. It looks like a bootleg, but that's a legit copy. And that's what we're going to be playing for the trials. And then we, Nothing special. Nothing rare. It's a bunch of shovelware. Stuff I find at thrift stores. Wii games are actually getting harder to find nowadays. Um, they were pretty common. 3DS. Now this game... And this game, these games are pretty uncommon. These are actually pretty, this one itself is actually really rare. This is Tingle's Balloon Fight. Obscure Zelda game. Well, Zelda franchise theme, spinoff, whatever, for the Nintendo DS. It's Balloon Fight with Tingle. And then these two games are weird. This one's actually in English. And we'll play on the fat DS only. But it's basically Tingle trying to get a girlfriend. And then I have no idea what this one is. But that's, that's your boy, Jam. That's your boy. Look at him. Damn, Tingle. And then just a couple other games. Nothing nothing special. Nothing special. Phoenix Wright, yeah. And then a Breath of the Wild shirt, so. And last, but certainly not least, we have the Gaming Center. This is what I see from my chair when I am streaming, and that is a Sony B a PVM 2950Q with the holiest of games currently on. My two NESs, um, top loader RGB modded, twin family RGB modded, all functional, all badass. That is Neo, and that is the brick that I was using. I don't know what I'm gonna call this one yet. This is the one I used in the Big 20. I gotta call this something, I don't know. Something. I'm gonna call it something. <laughs> There's just a bunch of controllers and stuff in the in here. Nothing too special. I mean, just random controllers and accessories. 
and stuffs. Nothing special. Uh, my NES Advantage used to be on display, now it's kind of out of the way. <laughs> uh, my Hey You Pikachu box with the microphone, and then a RGB SCART switcher that is currently actually only being used for my Dreamcast, that's it. And then my one of my two component switchers. All right, so now we're getting to some of the good stuff. This is my completing box to Teleview with a Super Famicom and my Panasonic Gold Star 3DO PS1, Xbox, Sega Genesis with karaoke unit, PS2 with stand, GameCube with matching Game Boy Player and Sega Saturn, Tower of Power, and the Wii. Uh, let's see. RGB component, VGA converted to RGB. These aren't hooked up. Uh, RGB component with official component cables. Component, component, and RGB. Then over here, there's my Earthbound box with my Switch version of Undertale and Chrono Trigger, my original Legend of Zelda Player's Guide, Atari Jaguar, and my 64 with the 64 disk drive and modem. My TurboGrafx CD with the uh, the CD the Super CD System 3. Thanks to Keith not Keith for that as well. Uh, N64 and TurboGrafx or excuse me NEC PC Engine Duo R are all RGB right there. Uh, Atari 2600 and Super Nintendo also all RGB and my. Sega Master System and my Philips CDI also all RGB. Shout out to Justin and for the Master System. And uh, I also have for all of these consoles EverDrive, an EverDrive. That's an EverDrive. Just trust me. EverDrive. EverDrive, SD to SNES, EverDrive, only one way to play baby, you gotta have those EverDrives. And then up there's just a bunch of assorted boxes and stuff, my lights, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is my tangle of cables behind my TV, just ignore that. That is my collection, those cables are just tangled because I was hooking stuff up for the stream, so just ignore that. I'm going to go back there and clean that at some point. This is all SCART and RGB, basically. Not, nothing to be concerned with. No concern there. Move forward, folks. Move move on. And that is my updated collection video. Freaking 45 minutes of me rambling and ranting, and I hope you enjoyed every minute of uh, going through my stuffs. I've got some cool stuff. I've got some unique stuff I've got some fun stuff and I've got Rob and at the end of the day isn't that all you need look at that face isn't that all you really need isn't that all so yeah and uh, I'll probably do another update in about a year or two. Um, to be honest, though, I kind of have almost everything I want. Um, I guess console-wise, the only thing I'm really missing, I suppose, would be the, the Jaguar CD, um, a Nomad, some uh, TV systems from Nintendo. Um, there's not a lot, to be honest. I've got almost everything I've ever wanted for video games. And I know that's weird to say, but it's true. Uh, an Xbox One at some point, obviously, and if they release a new Switch, I'd also like to get a PS4 Pro, but... Again, or a backwards compatible PS3, but that's all stuff I would never use any more than my current stuff, so it's kind of like... Oh, oh, I forgot about this stuff. Wii U Pro Controller, my normal Switch Pro Controller spot, some Switch stuff, Xbox 360, PS4. And then there's my stream deck. Yeah. My bad, I forgot that stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, just uh, cool stuff that I've collected over the last decade. And I'm very proud of my collection. And yeah, I'll probably add some more stuff here and there, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to add 
But if I do, I'll make another update video. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. See ya.